In this lecture, we're going to derive an equation known as the thin lens equation for convex and concave thin lenses. Now, in the next lecture, we're going to discuss how to actually use this equation and we're going to look at the different sign conventions for convex and concave thin lenses. Now, recall that a ray diagram is essentially a tool that we can use to determine where the position and location of the image formed by our lens is. Now, ray diagrams or drawing ray diagrams can be very tedious, difficult, and even inaccurate. So, we can actually use ray diagrams and a bit of geometry to derive an equation that relates the focal length, the image distance, as well as the object distance. Now this equation known as the thin lens equation can be used to find our location of the image so we can use the thin lens equation instead of the more tedious way using ray diagrams. So. To begin our derivation, let's look at the following diagram. So in this lecture, we're going to use the double convex lens to derive the thin lens equation. Note that we can also use the double concave lens. So let's suppose this line is our principal axis. It's the axis that essentially cuts our lens in half, so it goes through the center of our lens given by the point C. And this axis is perpendicular to the surface of our lens at both points. Now notice by definition of a convex lens, the convex lens is thicker at the middle and thinner at the edges. So let's suppose this point is the focal point on the right side of the lens given by F and f prime is the focal point of our lens found on the left side. So we have two focal points, f and f prime. Now let's take our object and let's place the object to the left of focal point f prime and our object is shown by the following red arrow. So the height of our object begins at O and ends at O prime. So O prime is the highest point of the object and O is the lowest point of the object and the height of the object is given by HO. So <coughs> So, let's begin by drawing our ray diagram. So, we only want to use two of the three rays. So, we're using ray number one and ray number th uh, three, the two rays that we used in the ray diagram. So, ray number one essentially begins at the object point O prime and extends parallel with respect to our principal axis. Eventually, it will hit our center line and let's represent that point as C prime. So when it hits our center line, it essentially refracts or bends and it moves through our focal point F that is found on the right side of our convex lens. So this is ray number one. Now ray number three essentially begins at the same exact object point given by O prime, but instead of going parallel, it cuts directly through our center of the lens given by point C and it does not actually bend or refract, it travels straight. Now the position, the location where our two rays intersect, that is our image point. So that is given by I prime. So I prime is the topmost point of our object and I is the bottommost point of our object. And notice that this distance I I prime is perpendicular to our axis as is this. So this arrow, 
the height of the object is perpendicular to the axis as well. So this point is I, this point is I prime, and this distance is the height of our image given by HI. So this point is F, this point the center is C, this point is C prime, and this is also perpendicular with respect to our axis. So the distance C prime C is perpendicular to our axis. So that will become important in just a moment. So let's begin our derivation by using a bit of geometry. So notice that triangle C prime CF. So where is C prime CF? So C prime CF. So this triangle here happens to be similar to triangle I prime IF. So I prime IF is this smaller triangle is similar to this larger triangle. Why? Well, because this angle here is the same as this angle. So this angle is the same as this angle. These two angles are 90 degrees. And so the third angle are exactly the same. So these angles are the same these angles the same and these angles are 90 so we have similar right triangles so that means if we divide the height or this length of our uh, side of the triangle over this that is equal to this divided by this so we have proportions so C prime multiple or C prime C where C prime C is this distance divided by C F this distance, the base of our triangle, is equal to the height of the second triangle, I prime I, divided by the base of the second triangle, I F. Now, what exactly is C prime C? C prime C is the height of this triangle, which is exactly the same as the height of the object, because these two lines are parallel, so that means C prime C is equal to HO. So we can replace C prime C with HO. Now, what exactly is CF? Well, CF is the distance from the center of our lens to the focal point found on the right side. So it's the focal length. So we can replace this with F. Now, what exactly is IF? Well, IF is simply this distance here. So IF is this distance, and how can we find this distance in terms of the uh, image distance as well as the focal length? Well, notice this entire distance beginning at C and ending at I is DI, it's the image distance. This distance is the focal length. If we take our image distance and subtract the focal length, we get the distance that begins at F and ends at I. So we can replace our IF with DI minus F, where DI is the image distance and F is the focal length. And finally, I prime I is simply the height of our triangle. It's our, Im it's our uh, image distance, so HI. So, HO divided by F is equal to HI divided by DI minus F. So we can rearrange and we get the following result. So the image height divided by the object height is equal to DI minus F, where DI is our image distance, and F is the focal length divided by F, our focal length. Now, we can also find two other similar triangles. So, notice that triangle O prime OC is similar to triangle I prime IC. So, O prime OC is simply O prime OC. So this triangle is similar to I prime IC. So I prime IC. And once again, that's because these angles are the same. So these angles are the same. These are 90 and these are the same as well. So because of the following result, we get the following proportion. 
O prime O, so O prime O, the height of this triangle, is given by HO. So O prime O, which is really HO, divided by OC, which is the base, and this is simply our object distance, beginning at the center, ending at where the object is located. So OC, which is DO, our object distance, is equal to I prime I, so this a uh, height of our second triangle given by HI divided by IC, where IC is our distance from the center to the image, so it's the image distance. So, HO divided by DO is equal to HI divided by DI. If we rearrange, we get the following important relationship. The image distance divided by the object distance is equal to the, or the image height divided by the object height is equal to the image distance divided by our object's distance. So, now let's move on to step three. So notice that in step one, we said that HI divided by HO is equal to this. And in the second step, we said that HI divided by HO is equal to this. So we can relate the right side of this equation to the right side of this equation. So DI divided by DO is equal to DI minus F divided by F. Now, notice we can separate the following results. So if we divide by F, we get DI divided by F minus 1, because F divided by F gives us 1. So DI divided by DO is equal to this. Now, let's take the right and left side of this equation, divide both sides by DI, and after we rearrange, we get the following result. 1 divided by the focal length is equal to 1 divided by the image distance plus 1 divided by the object distance. And this is our thin lens equation. So we, we essentially related the focal length, the image distance, and the object distance. So if we know two of these quantities, we can find the third. For example, if we know the focal length, if we know the object distance, we can find exactly where our image is formed without actually drawing any ray diagrams. Now, let's go back to the second step. In the second step, we said that HI divided by HO is equal to DI divided by DO. Well, HI divided by HO is simply the proportion that tells us how much bigger or smaller the image height is compared to our object height. So that is known as our lateral magnification. So the lateral magnification is defined by the following equation. H I divided by H O, which is equal to negative of D I divided by D O, which comes from this equation. So in the next lecture, we're going to discuss where this negative comes from. So we're going to examine how to actually use the thin lens equation, and we're going to discuss the different sign conventions for convex and concave lenses.